Hello and welcome back to my channel, Gigi here. Um, this week's YouTubers Weekly Stamping Collab is hosted by Patty. Our theme this week is nautical. That means no mermaids for us. The ladies did a fabulous job and I will have uh, links to their channels in the description box below. If you could show them some love, I would certainly appreciate it. And you could show me some love if you enjoyed this video by clicking the um, like button. Yes. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, this is my Manny. And as you can see, I went with the schooners. I love anything to do with pirates. And um, the schooners are like great. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So for this, I used PLEs as my base coat. Love that she has the instructions on the back. I used Boy Cosmetics, Notorious Sapphires. The Mezerdu C10 plate. I'm using the schooners off of this. The Uber Chic Mermaid Life plate. She said we couldn't use mermaids, not that I couldn't use a plate. Some images off of the Mezerdu C27 plate. Little Ondine on top of my stamping. Glisten and Glow Top Coat. And my favorite Clear Jelly Stamper. Okay, so we're going to take this image. Um, once I lay this image down, I'm going to go ahead and um, fast forward everything. So I'll do a quick scrape. Let's see what that pickup looks like. And it looks pretty good. I'll be placing that on my thumb. Um just like I did on the other one. I'm just duplicating what I did on my other hand, of course. <laughs> Sometimes I get crazy and do two different manis. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here out, and I will be back here in a moment. Okay, so now that the stamping is all done, I'm just going to go ahead and take a piece of um, cellophane tape, or um, scotch tape, as we call it over here, and clean up most of the little spots that I have there. It comes off pretty easily. I'm just checking it out there. Um, okay, so then when I'm done with that, I'm just going to take a little bit of acetone because most of it was already clean. So... Um, that makes it real nice. Uh, sometimes I will use um, latex around the edges and uh, make it easier for cleanup. There we go. It's looking pretty good. It looks like my edges are pretty sharp. Also, um, especially with the blue and green things that might stain a little bit, I just take a small piece of cotton, and as you saw, I wrapped it around the edge of my orange stick, uh, Mr. Woodman there, and just clean up just on the skin. I don't use that for um, the polish itself. I just use that to try to get some of the um, stuff up off the off my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and use the little Ondine for the top of my stamping. Um, I've tried all kinds of different things, and it seems that the water-based 
uh, top coats help with the smearing. Will help it not to smear, should I say. Okay, and it did a pretty good job. A lot of times with the white and the black, um, you don't see too much smearing on here. If you get really close, you might see some. Okay, so that has dried, and I'm going to go ahead and put my quick dry top coat on it, give it a little bit more gloss. The little Londine is really nice, um, but it isn't quite as shiny as I like. You know what I mean? <laughs> we all like shiny things, right? Okay, so now that I'm done, I think it looks pretty good. I really appreciate you sticking around this long. Oh, it's getting late, so my voice is really scratchy. But anyway, thank you again for watching. As always, be kind and be creative.